Did Taylor Swift diss Harry Styles at the Grammy Awards? Rihanna, is she engaged? And Kristen Stewart, did she really go to a concert without Robert Pattinson? Hey guys, it's Chloe here with all the juicy bits the entertainment world is buzzing about today. Even though Taylor Swift's hit song, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, was written about her ex-boyfriend Jake Gyllenhaal, she gave the track a whole new meaning during the 2013 Grammy Awards on February 10th, when she opened the show with the song and totally called out her ex-boyfriend, One Direction singer Harry Styles. Alright, so what did she do? Well, in the middle of the song, she started speaking with a British accent, and she said, I don't have time for you right now because I'm opening the Grammy Awards and we are never getting back together. Not only did Rihanna and Chris Brown snuggle up at the Grammy Awards on February 10th, fans were a buzz on Twitter after Rihanna was caught wearing what looked to be an engagement ring on her finger during parts of the telecast, most notably during her performance of Stay, which is said to be about Chris. It was four years ago that Chris infamously assaulted Rihanna after a pre-Grammy party, but it all seems to have been forgiven and forgotten because the two lovers were spotted all over each other during the ceremony and they even went out and partied after. Robert Pattinson is currently filming the rover in Australia, leaving Chris and Stewart by her lonesome in the U.S. However, Kristen is using her alone time to take advantage, and she went to an Ellie Goulding concert. Not too long ago, Kristen attended an Ellie Gold concert on October 16th as well, and she went without Rob too. Perhaps Ellie's music gives her some comfort when she's without Rob. These are just a few of the juiciest bits from today, and see these arrows, click on them for the next or previous story from ENTV. And for all things Hollywood, log on to HollywoodLife.com, and don't forget to subscribe to ENTV for all of your entertainment news first.